All right, everybody, I just want to take a quick break and urge you to go and download the Anchor app yourself. All right, it's free, it's easy, has plenty of tools. It distributes your podcast to several platforms, Apple, Spotify, I think another is called like Podcast Pocket or something. Pocket Cast, I think is the name of it. Uh, it's, it's really popular platforms that get your podcast to reach millions tens of millions hundreds of millions of people not sure i know it reaches a hell of a lot of people and eventually just like on you know that other platform you can that's actually going the opposite way you can eventually start getting paid for it now i haven't got paid for it yet but i'm looking forward to see how this works so go ahead again download it get yourself some episodes on there and enjoy it Hey y'all, it's um Mr. Negative with the Negative Podcast. And um But just overall generally I think y'all from the title see that I kinda want y'all to just get over this and let the, the coronavirus do what it does. Um Because you, that's what we should have done in the first place, I believe. Let's describe before I get into what made me get here, let's describe the virus itself. It's easily transmitted, so I, unless you're reaching for a the, the number zero in every state, you're not gonna you're not gonna keep it from spiking. Because every time we have a spike here in Michigan, they want to put more restrictions. And I don't. Do y'all know what the, what why? Everything spikes from day to day. You ever weighed yourself and then drunk some water? Everything spikes. So saying that oh it's spiking is because of whatever new restrictions stop it but back back on track um and as of right now the cure that we have for it is um exist the quarantine that people tell you to do when you know you have it is just so you don't infect anyone else but the cure for it is just exist you 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 you, yeah, you might get sick, you might get symptoms, but most people don't. And even if you're, you, you, you have symptoms, I think there's something that can help. I haven't researched that part, but for the most part, the cure for it is just exist. So why haven't we let it run its course? Oh, and I forgot to add that from what I've heard the last month, once you get it, your probability of getting it again is like almost almost next to none. So again, had you let this run its course from the time we found out, you wouldn't have this problem months later. Why have other countries, contents, etc., have fared uh, the ones who did for like I keep hearing Canada, fucking Canada. What's the per capita rate? Like you ever thought maybe it for one, what's the what's Canada's tourism? Like how many people go to Canada? And I'm not trying to be an asshole. How many people you hear say, oh man, I loved vacationing in fucking Toronto or Vancouver? Like people. How many people just 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 randomly vacation or plan to vacation in fucking Canada? Yeah, your rate is going to be lower. And then again, what's the per capita uh, uh, stat? In America, yes, we have a high, a really high rate because hell, we have a lot of people. We have a lot of people coming in. We vacation in and out. We do business in and out. Within the states, we do a lot of back and forth. Yeah. Yes. Yes. The most we should have done was say, yo, proceed with caution. Here are the caution. Um, Try to stay away from people as much as possible. Limit your contact. Wear a mask if you want to. Boom. There it is. So you had to fuck. That's all you had to do this whole time. But no. We want to keep people from coming in contact with each other. In hopes that apparently numbers reach zero. I guess. Because that's the only number that would make sense. And on top of that. I've noticed something that when they keep sending me these stats. They 
you'll see the infection rate spike, right? Which again is not a bad thing. Again, it's, everything spikes, like literally everything. Again, but what I've noticed is the death toll, even though the infection rate goes up, still remains very low. So the infection rate could simply mean they're not telling how many tests happen every day. Why? Because if the if let's say they only did a thousand, let's say they only did a thousand tests every day, hypothetically, they do more than that, obviously. But let's say they only did a thousand tests every day. And you see that okay, we did a thousand tests, we had 800 positives, and we had 75 deaths. If the ratio for each of those were always in their favor, they would tell you that number every single time. So I know that there is there I know that is not in their favor, the fact that they won't tell you. So that means and here's one of the reasons why I brought that up is because when you to one rate one way to raise the infection rate is to, to simply test more, a lot more. And then you don't retest because we all know. Look, look at the look at the NFL. Look how many players tested and then they said the tested positive. Then they said, oh, well, well, oh, well, um, just test them tomorrow and see. Oh, it was false. It's negative now. Nobody felt weird about being on the field with him. He didn't feel weird about going around his family and saying, oh, I might affect you because who knows if that pop, that negative test that came up, maybe that test was broken. That's really, that's all it takes. And y'all really want me to believe this is life or death? You serious? Y'all not even have, handling it as if it's not life or death. Most of the people you come into contact with that want to say that this is life or death, you will watch them completely mishandle everything that they're doing as far as cross transmission. Please tell me how. I just saw a chick on Twitter today. Oh, when the guy tries to hand you your DoorDash without just leaving it on the porch, I say, like, it's Corona out here. And she was serious. And it's like, well, if he has Corona, he doesn't wear gloves. He grabs your bag. There's, there's no way. It's in a car with him. He has to pick it up. Why are you having somebody else handle your food anyway? We're eight months in. How many people haven't, haven't even... I'm not sure... How, how long it takes to grow a garden or anything like that. So I, you put, you completely got me on this. But has, why has nobody even attempted to do more um, home cooking, right? All these places are booming. Why? Why? Oh, is it only us people who are not so, you know, up in arms about it? That's it. We're the people that's making all these businesses boom. Okay, sure. That I'll, I'll buy that. Whatever. And I wish I could find the Megan Kelly tweet. I'm going to look her up as I go. But um, she um, quoted um, a uh, a tweet about um, what was it? What was it? What was it? She crap. I think it was Los Angeles, where you could um, you could. With it. Oh, Thanksgiving. That's right. Thanksgiving. They Los Angeles was telling their residents how they were going to handle Thanksgiving. And she, dude, people grilled her for it because she's like against it. But it's like, fuck you, dude. I'm not even big on holidays, but how you how you stop? Do not tell me how many people I can have at my small ass house. It's not happening. You, you, you really think that you can tell me and my, my family, my friends, or anybody how to handle their family, their friends, their home, that they can't, how to, how to handle the holidays with each other? Really? Okay, so what if a family already had 30 people living in a house because, you know, either they were poor or that's just how their family rolls? Then now what? Now what? This is stupid. Oh, because those people have to leave and disperse and go somewhere else. You don't think the house of 30 people throughout the day on a daily basis don't leave and disperse and go somewhere else and bring it back home? 
gives it to someone else. They leave, disperse, go somewhere else, come back home, keep spreading it, really. This idea of we can just... We can just not tell people not have Thanksgivings. That assault, that'll keep it down. No, it won't. No, it won't. Even in the gym, like in the gym, this, this, this oh, you people are just ridiculous. You're so, con- you're so concerned with attempting to, oh, I care about lives. Look at me. But before you laugh at somebody who dies because they didn't share your views. But you're so concerned with trying to pretend that you have some outrage and that you care about people's lives that you try to agree with stuff like this when it doesn't even make any sense at all. None. Uh, but but again, my gym example, I forgot my gym example. Um, so me and this guy were playing one on one at one. We play like seven games, right? The first like is. We played seven games or something like that. And then a guy peeps his head in. Hey, guys, you know you can't guard each other. You know you can't play one-on-one. And it's like, I'm like, dude, I got one more point. This is the last point. I got one more point. You're lucky to get away with it this long. You know the rules. Come on, guys. Stop it. And it's like, bruh, how moronic is this? You think one more point is going to give him the coronavirus or give give it to me? Really? You're not allowing me to do anything else in this gym. It's literally I after I do this, I go do something else. And that what? All the people who came to this gym today said ah, it's worth it to work out. Maybe I'll get it, maybe I won't. But Playing one on one, we can share the same ball. Here's what's really stupid: we can share the same ball. Don't have to disinfect in between each shot. But standing in front of each other, uh, I guess because we're huffing and puffing, it's like, oh well, you can spread the coronavirus. We can still spread it through the ball. We can sit down next to each other, and if it, after the game or before or whatever, but you can't you can't guard each other one on one. You can be uh, siblings or whatever, whatever it is, and live in the same house, share the same bed. Go to this, go to the gym, play one on one. Hey guys, you can't do that. What the fuck? We kiss each other. You're gonna tell us we can't play one on one, really? You got y'all are literally throwing thing, throwing rules and regulations in place in hopes of sounding like you're trying to actually do something, and that's why. And let's transition. Let's transition into this election nonsense. This is why I cannot get down with you biting people. Because you literally, when I didn't vote, as I said last time, because this is my first time ever voting, the problem was I, I, I never cared. Right? I, I don't know enough about politics to really be trying to pretend like, yeah, I'm about to, I'm voting for this guy because, you know what I'm saying? Like, you look at his policy. This platinum plan, that shit fire. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know what will happen if they don't give us what they said that they were going to give us. I don't know. I'm, I'm lost when it comes to politics. I have no clue. So I don't, I'm not one of these people that want to pretend like I'm making this huge difference. Like, I don't know what difference I'm making. I really don't when I vote. Um, But I voted this time for Trump because, and I'm not even a Trump supporter. But I know Biden's full of shit. I know they both promise people free stuff, and it, which is a, a pet peeve of mine. Dude, please just take taxes down to the military and like national defense, and then let local and state handle like the roads and shit and all that. Please get rid of these programs, please, please. But uh, the big difference is it, it comes down to Biden's views on guns, and. Well, not not just his views on guns. There is there's more. Um, when I say he's full of shit, right? Just listen. He, he's he's he just sells you shit, right? Let me try to think of an example. I didn't know I was gonna cover. I thought it was gonna be all Corona 
So give me a second to think this shit up. Uh, one of his ads that I seen the, uh, a couple of days ago, um, his his plan apparently for the coronavirus, which people I don't know if y'all y'all know this, but there is no straight strict plan for getting rid of or even containing the coronavirus. Like you, like you can't visibly see this shit, and you don't know how it, where, when it's going to, and where it's going to transmit. You don't know. You don't know. So when he says, um, "I'm going to um, up the 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 testing places," I'm going to like double them. Some somebody said like that, and it's like, okay, are you going to force people to get tested? Because if not, people like me, I'm not playing your game. I'm not. I'm not going to give you any any leeway or power to 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 do whatever nonsense plan you have. And it is not just to be an asshole to him, or it's just part of it. I want to stick it to the man. But part of it is it, every little inch you give on this, what they, that they're doing with this corona thing, it's more and more of an opportunity for mandating the next thing, and then mandating the next thing, and then mandating the next thing, right? Like, it's, like put it like this. When they first announced that they were going to put cameras and microphones inside the the city buses, and people were like, and people are up in arms, like, "What the hell? What is this?" Right? And people response who are not against it were like, "Well, what do you have to hide? If you don't have anything to hide, it shouldn't be a problem. It allows us to catch criminals and da da da." It's like, no, no, I don't have to have anything to hide. For not to have a camera and a microphone in my face. I want some sort of privacy when I'm in pu- in public place. Something. I don't want you to literally be, literally be able to just listen to me. And watch me. No matter what. I don't want that. But before this. Remember the surveillance cameras on the street lights and all that. Oh, it, well, it'll help. With, again, every little thing you give them. It's more and more of you give them more and more power to say, all right, here's here's another mandate for this. Here's another mandate for this. And then another and then another. Stop going for everything. So I won't like one of the problems that they have with the coronas, backtrack a little bit, is the guy tweeted this, he quoted this tweet and said, Man, that well the tweet, the original tweet was um Restaurants now have to start taking your name and number when you want to go out to eat. And he was like, my my reading is right? What is this? And people were just like, well, they want to be able to track the corona and blah, blah, blah. And like, that's one of the things they do at the gym, right? The gym doesn't want to do it, but they're mandated to do it. And it's like, dude, would you please fuck off? Okay, if somebody at the gym comes down with corona and report it, so now you're going to call me and tell me what? That I can't do anything? That I must get tested to leave my house? What are you going to do with that? It's not just literally, hey, we want to track it. Track it for what? They don't need your name and number for that. All they have to do is say, hey, if you were at this location at this day, well, between this week or whatever, we have somebody who come down with Corona. Do you give a fuck? All right, well, you might want to quarantine yourself and, you know, breathe. Because that's how you get over it. What the hell? Literally breathing. But not, it's, I'm, being a smart ass went wrong for me there. Uh, but yeah, like little things like that. That so, like one day, the dude had, it's like the, she was angry because dude left him just, she let the dude left and didn't sign the paper. And when she called him back, he, he just said, fuck off, whatever. And she was like upset. And I, I would have did the same thing. But but it, once she called my name, I would have just went back and pretended so to make to not. I don't make their jobs harder. I don't I know that they're just doing their jobs. So once once they catch me trying to not not sign the paper, you know, the, I'll, I'll, I'll just say, fuck it and sign it. But I asked her like. What happens if I don't sign this? What like what happened? Oh, nothing. But it's like we have to tell you to sign it. Like, fair enough. 
But again, how stupid is it? Because we have to check in on the computer system. You know, the thing that, you know, brings our account up, it has our email, our phone number, our birth date, our checking account number. They also want you to fill out this name and number thing for what? What are you adding compliance things for? Why are you doing this? And I'm going to also, I think that's my third. That's what I'll do next time is why people love complying so much, but not, not today, not today. More of these Joe Biden ridiculous things. And I'm, 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 I'm trying to find some Joe Biden ads so we can go over all of them. Cause this is, uh, this is, this, this is incredibly annoying. So actually, let me read this to you what I've seen on Facebook. And if it's and if it's not right, you can fact check me. That's fine. But this guy posted this about, you know, Biden. It reads, huh? Hunter Biden a year ago, drunk, left three MacBooks at a PC repair shop. Data recovered, but never showed up to retrieve and pay. After 90 days, it became property of PC repair guy. Hunter was told before, but was uh, was able to retrieve his data off the cloud service he uses. So he didn't bother to pay the 85 bucks. PC repair guy saw that saw what was on the laptops and contacted the FBI. Main FBI guy who deals in, ch in child porn investigations retrieved laptops from PC repair guy. And has sat on it for a year and did nothing with it. PC repair guy made copy of data before contacting FBI. Gave data to Rudy Giuliani. Rudy gave info to New York Post. Post wrote story on Hunter Biden e Biden's emails and pics on the laptops. Twitter, Facebook, and Google banned and censored anyone who who linked the article. Linked to the article. Article was backed up onto a .gov website. These big three banned linking the government link as well. All three are in deep shit and this week face a Senate Judiciary Committee for censoring this and more. Hunter's laptop has some very serious proof of his crimes from both Hunter Biden and Joe Biden. Corroboration of this story being true has also been proven. Emails on laptops have proven Biden's are owned and corrupt. Chinese Communist Party directly linked to Biden's. After his story started appearing last week, Joe Biden decided to put a five-day lid on their campaign and isn't camp campaigning at the moment. This, my, my, this is monumental news. Why didn't you hear of it? Because they don't want you to. You hear about the hundreds of kids rescued in the last two months from sex trafficking, Hear about the hundreds of arrests for for that? News says nothing, but it's all on the Marshall's website. You want the truth? Don't expect mainstream media to tell you shit. And that's where that ends. So here's my problem with... I'm not sure how... how first of all, I'm not sure how true this story is. Because it, um, it, 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 a, lot, a lot of it sounds like that doesn't make any sense. For instance, um, I, I I know he might be on some drugs, but I don't think anybody's dumb enough to do porn on a computer. Take it to a PC repair guy when you work for a guy who I'm sure can hook you up with somebody who will repair your computer and not leak your shit. Like I that, that sounds incredibly dumb. So it's hard for me to believe this entire story right um and then the fbi uh, apparently the story is trying to say the fbi is in favor of helping biden but you don't pull some strings to get this pc guy locked up or give me the rest of the shit that you backed up you don't do anything besides just take the laptops is that a, like how stupid are these people on that side that's why it's hard for me to believe the, the totality of the story. But even if you completely discard the story, right? Which at that point, why did I bring it up? My bad. 
Um, the fact that there are things about his son in the media during this doing this type of dirt, bruh. If this was any of Trump's kids, do you know how much y'all be on Facebook, on Twitter, on everything saying, "Oh, this guy needs to be out of here." He, you really, how do y'all like this guy? He's such a terrible person. Oh, let me go. Let me go find this this message this guy sent me. That this I just come on Facebook Messenger. So this guy posted some story about um, Trump or how he wants Trump out of office, but it, it was more to it. But I can't see it anymore. But I just po- I just posted I sent him the because it automatically goes into messages. So I sent him the face palm emoji. He was like, what? I'm like, I'm like, because of how y'all view this election. He's like, yeah, he got to go is all that matter. So I asked him, okay, what is Biden going to fix? He says, don't care. Fuck dude is trash. Fuck dude trash and no political person really do shit. But Trump is the worst. Really? What makes Trump the worst? Besides you don't like his personality. People, y'all got to stop voting for the person that's going to have a huge say in how the country is ran because you don't like his Twitter antics. That's fucking stupid. How moronic is that? You got a big hand in making decisions about policies that will affect my life. But I'm going to vote you out because you posted something about Rosie O'Donnell on Twitter really really okay I asked how uh oh but again what makes Trump the worst outside of the coronavirus because prior to the whole three years were what what was what what problem was there and literally the only problem we have now is that the people who hate Trump are fucking shit up because they hate Trump. That's Trump's problem. All right. He responds, "How? Racist bigot thief. Shit, he would fuck his daughters if he could. If he could, don't know shit about business. Total fuck up everything he touched. Fell. What about him? Screams leader. Okay. All right. Okay. He don't know shit about business, but apparently." He was able to take whatever his dad left him and increase upon that. Like, actually do the work. Not just sit back and watch other people build the empire and then just give him the payout because of his name. But he actually did it himself. Really. He don't know nothing about business. All right. He will fuck his daughters. This is how y'all really view him. What makes you think that he would fuck his daughters? That's a pretty serious claim that you're throwing out. If your intent is to say he's a sexist pig, well, just say he's a sexist pig. But please don't say this because he said you can grab him by the pussy. Because uh, I don't know if y'all noticed this, but there are a lot of women who like being grabbed by the pussy by Guys, they want to grab them by the pussy. Like, y- 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 y'all understand, y- y- understand that? And not just because they're attracted to them, but because they might be able to get something out of them. So please tell me how, don't tell me that that's what y'all view him as sexist because. Please don't. He, I respond with, how many, how has any of this been proven? Biden is going to raise taxes, ban guns. I don't like that trade-off. But I forgot to uh, go about his whole racist bigot thing. Again. And he responds to this. So let's let's read this part. He says, has any of Biden been proven Trump situation? Just watch the news and listen to him speak. He's been to about his school was a sham his apartments would, wouldn't rent out to people of color. Lawsuit over 20 women have accused him of sexual misconduct. But if you prefer him as your leader, 
not judging no one. Well, you're clearly judging, sir. You're clearly yeah, you're 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 judging, obviously. Um, but the, again, people, can we stop believing all women? This idea of oh well, twenty women accused him. Okay, did they prove anything? Did they did they prove anything? What what is what good is it? If you can simply be accused of something and then there goes your image, or you're you're completely uh, associated with it forever, how fair is that? Does he not get a fair shot a trial in court or not? So unless they prove something, do not hold that over his head. Because your president, your ideal president's son, is being accused of child pornography or child molestation of something like that. Really? You want that guy as your as your leader? Why hasn't he cleared the air up on that? Because either his son didn't do it and he can put it all on on, on the table right before election day, which would well, won't that put his votes in the air? Or his son did do it, he can prove it and then lock his son the fuck up. And then if he's willing to do that, be that sacrificial, wouldn't that for sure throw his votes through the roof? But no. No, 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 no. We're not going to ask Biden to go through anything. And didn't Biden get accused of something too? But no, nah, we're not, we, we're not going to go there over Biden. No. It's just Trump because... It's just Trump. <laughs> He tells people you're fired. It's he's a he's a bad man. Again, y'all are making me defend Trump. Like I don't like I don't even give a fuck about Trump. That is I I really I couldn't care less about what he does on Twitter, what he does in office. I don't care. But y'all are this ridiculous to make me defend this guy. Jeez. And then is he's been sued about his school. I don't even I didn't know he had a school. And then his apartment wouldn't rent out to people of color. So you mean to tell me this this guy, this this billionaire, this big timer, this guy that's been trying to run for, for, for president for the last 20 years, he spends time managing his own apartment complex and tells the color people to stay away. And none of those color people have come forward, right? You don't think maybe, if if true at all, maybe there was a problem with the, the manager itself. And if that's the case, wouldn't it be wouldn't it be some type of due diligence to say, hey, when this was brought to your attention, did you question that manager? And if found true, did you fire that guy? But no. No, 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 no. Nope. We're just it's Trump. We need him out of office ASAP. Let's go. This it's whatever it is is automatically true because Trump, right? So I basically asked him, like, dude, Biden has been seen on video saying a bunch of terrible shit, questionable shit about black people. Um he has his own ac- ac- accusations and um and so on and so forth. Why why have you not do you not care about that? Why don't any of you care about what what things that are being accused of of Biden? Oh, as long as it's not Trump, the, the accusations or whatever, great. Great. He says, goes to show how he looks at those who makes less than him. He's just a shit person to make point blank shit he can to change my opinion. He got a long history of fucking people over. What does it mean, fucking people over? What are you talking about? Do you mean business? Business is business. Like, I don't see how that automatically means, even if it's true that he fucked people over in business, that now he's going to fuck the economy over, that he has to rely on for his business. Or is it that, oh, he's going to, like, I don't know, make it to where he never has to pay taxes again? Because Congress would totally allow that. Like, absolutely. Jeez. I just I, I, Man I don't know dude 
I don't know. I it just it just it just really bugs the shit out of me that just literally you're all really just going to go and vote solely out of anger. You're not looking at anything Biden has actually done, any of the accusations with Biden, any problem that could be potentially there with Biden, any policy that he brags about having there, just so you can say, yes, fuck Trump, hell yeah. This is stupid. That's that's all. I'm done with that. Um be right not positive I'm out